Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Diego. I'm a product manager and on this channel, we explore ways to break into product management, how to age your interviews and what it actually means to be a product manager. Today, I'm going to share with you how I prepare to succeed at product management interviews with companies like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. The first thing that I do when I'm going to prepare for an interview is to research the company. And I spend about 10% of my time doing this. So if I have about two weeks to prepare, the research phase would be say a day or two. And you might be wondering, why is it so important that this research happens at the beginning? Well, besides the obviously uh, concept of knowing more about the company, I'm going to work next on answers to questions like tell me about yourself or walk me through your resume and why join this company. And I wanna make sure that my whole story is aligned to the company's goals, mission and vision, as well as show that I bring the skills needed to do the job or if I don't have some of the skills, show that I can actually learn quickly on the job. There is an overwhelming amount of information about companies. So what I usually do is I narrow down my search to only a few sources. The company's website, especially the section about their mission and their vision, their official blog for anything that is, you know, has been released recently or any announcement that they made. I also use YouTube to see if there are any tutorials or any reviews about the product. This is actually very, very useful for companies that have B2B products or business to business products. For a B2C company like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, I download the app and play with it as much as possible. And I pay a lot of attention to the onboarding process and I think of ways of how can, how can I improve this process for a user like me who might be new or a returning user to the application. I also read a few tech blogs like TechCrunch to read on the latest news on the company. And I try to stay away from websites like Glassdoor and Blind for companies that are very well known like Microsoft. You know, people on internet complain too much and these websites don't really tell me much about the company itself. Only that a lot of people who earn a lot of money complain that they are not earning enough money. Now that I'm done with my research, the next thing that I work on for about another 10 to 15% of my time is answers to tell me about yourself or walk me through your resume and why do you want to join this company? If you're currently not a product manager, then you also want to work on why product management. I'm going to leave you over here a playlist where I'll teach you how to create answers to all of these questions in ways that you can actually impress your interviewers. In fact, I will actually leave for every section of this video a playlist over here, but also in the description below. When I write my stories, I make sure that I write word by word what I intend to say in an interview to make sure that I highlight the relevant skills for the job that I'm applying to and that I actually connect all of my story with the values and the vision of the company. Don't worry, the step-by-step -step way of doing this is in the videos in the playlist that I told you about. My goal of writing word by word or every single word that I plan to talk about versus just a few bullet points is to start broad and then remove things from my story until every answer is less than three minutes each. The first time that you read your stories out loud or your answers out loud, you'll see that each story takes about 10 minutes. And what you have to do is you need to take your time to remove any extra words or feelings or anything else that is not part of the main journey until you have a very concise and crisp story that shows that you did a good research on the company and that tells a very compelling story that will make you completely stand out from the rest of the interviewees. After I finish writing my stories and I make sure that each one takes less than three minutes, it's time to practice. And I practice anytime I can. I practice in the morning, I practice in the shower, I practice in the car. I practice it by telling it to my friends and family. I, I can't stress enough the importance of practicing before a real interview. Actually, the last time that I interviewed, I think my family stopped picking up the phone because they were really tired of listening to my story. But I got an offer, so now they talk to me again. And so after I'm done writing answers and I practice and practice and practice as much as I can, I move on to the next thing, which is behavioral questions. Behavioral questions are typical to any interview, including product management interviews. I spend about 10 to 15% of my time working on these stories. So again, it will be about one or two days. I write stories that have to do with product management skills, like working cross-functionally, conflicts with engineers or with a manager, or dealing with, for example, angry customers. The most important thing about writing these stories word by word is again to make sure that they are concise, to the point, 
I remove unnecessary words and I make sure that they have a consistent structure with the star format and probably more importantly, they have a good balance between saying I and saying we. Accomplishing something might have been a team effort, but the interviewers, they wanna know what I accomplished. And in total, each story should last about five minutes or less. And once again, just like we tell me about yourself, I practice them every single day by telling my stories out loud uh, by myself, as well as with family and friends. My goal is not to actually memorize every single word, but rather make sure that I tell a concise story and that the main point comes across nicely. I wanna make sure that the interviewer, they know I have the skills and experience to solve this real life situation and show that I have actually good communication skills. When I interview with Amazon, I spent 70% of my time in this part instead of just one or two days. Amazon is very big on behavioral questions and I use their leadership principles to guide me when I created my stories. For any other company, after I got my behavioral questions ready, I move on to product design or product sense questions like how would you improve your favorite product? This is where I'll spend most of my time before my interview. Studying product design questions will take me about 50% of the total time. So like five to seven days if I had two weeks to prepare for an interview. In a product management interview, you're gonna get questions like, how would you improve your favorite product? Or how would you design a new kind of ATM? Or even how would you improve one of the company's product? You actually won't know exactly what questions you will get asked, but practicing first on your own and then doing mock interviews with others is going to help you be much better prepared at brainstorming ideas, thinking on your feet, and probably more important, you are gonna be very comfortable with a lot of ambiguity. So what I do to practice on my own is this. I make a list of products that I'm going to improve. A mobile app that is not very common. I avoid choosing apps like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or anything else very popular. It will be actually very hard to choose one of these in an interview and improve them. You're gonna need a lot of business context and product context to come up with a really great solution in an interview. I usually pick apps, for example, like MyFitnessPal or Duolingo. Next, I write down a physical tech product like my microphone or my Roomba robot. And once again, I try to stay away from very common products like iPhones, Apple Watches, or computers. Next, I also work on a physical non-tech product like running shoes, a bicycle, or a bottle of water. The goal in these ones will actually to be to add technology to them. And finally, I choose at least two different products from the company I'm interviewing with. This is actually a question that you might get in your interview. For example, for my Microsoft interview, I practice improving an Xbox and HoloLens. And for Google, I chose Google Home and Google Maps. Now, for every single product in this list, I'm going to write down my answer following my framework. What is the goal of improving it? What clarifying questions I would ask my interviewer? what user segments we should consider, pain points, improvements to the product, including at least one moonshot idea, prioritizing the solution and the metrics for success. This is something that is gonna take a lot of time and there are a lot of assumptions that I'm going to make. But my goal, once again, is not to have a perfect answer, but rather practice brainstorming and getting used to feeling uncomfortable when I don't have all the information in front of me. After the first few days that it takes writing this case, I repeat them out loud to myself so that I make sure that I didn't forget about any specific important concepts or any steps in the framework. But my goal is not to memorize word by word. And as soon as I can, I also start doing mock interviews with others. And 90% or 99% of my time, my first mock interviews really suck, like really, really bad. But that's the point. I don't want to do a terrible job in a real interview. I prefer to be really bad in front of friends, family, or even strangers. While I'm practicing these product design questions, I continue practicing behavioral questions as well as introduction questions like tell me about yourself. Practicing for an interview is an incremental effort. Do not stop practicing. The next thing that I like to do in the last 20% of my time is to practice strategy questions like what should Google do next? Or why did Amazon acquire Whole Foods? And root cause analysis questions such as, if the number of views has gone down in the last three weeks, how would you find out what happened? For strategy questions, I read company news, 
watch their keynotes on YouTube. I find out why they acquire any recent company and anything else that I can find about what the company has been doing recently. There is no right answer to questions like what should Google do next, but there are certainly some really wrong answers to it. The more you study and read about the company, the more you're gonna be prepared to answer questions like this. With all the information that I have, I write down my answer using a very simple framework of marketing three C's, customer company competitors, and Porter's five forces. I follow a very similar approach for root case analysis, where I write down all the possible scenarios of why a metric could have been affected, and then I go deep into one branch of all my possible scenarios. Don't worry, for all of this, there's gonna be a video in the description below. Writing things down is just one of the first steps in this process, and it really helps me make sure that I remember frameworks and key points for my answers. Don't forget that brainstorming, being able to think on your feet, and being very comfortable with ambiguity are actually more valuable in your preparation for an interview than memorizing a case or an answer. Preparing like this has helped me be successful at interviews with companies like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Let me know in the comments if you do something similar when you prepare or if there's anything different that has worked for you. Don't forget that the videos for frameworks and answers to everything that I mentioned in, in this video will be in the description below. Best of luck in your upcoming interviews and I'll see you next time.